All right, guys, Gemini back with another video. And in this video today, I'm going to be discussing uh, Ravis and Rick Rude. <sighs> now, a, a lot of guys in the WWE Hall of Fame don't don't make sense to me. You know, Coco Beware and uh, Donald Trump and Drew Carey. But there is a big chance coming up. Everybody knows that WrestleMania 32 is in Dallas. You know, home of the Von Erics and and uh, first time ever it's been in Dallas, Texas. Actually, the, the arena's in Arlington, which is an hour and a half away, but they call it Dallas because Dallas is much bigger than Arlington. If it was Dallas, it'd be in the American Airlines, but the new AT&T Stadium is out in Arlington, so enjoy your hour and a half drive out to Arlington. But yeah, um, 33, Minnesota, and I couldn't think of a, uh, a better inductee for the class of 2017 Hall of Fame than Ravish and Rick Rude uh, from Robbinsdale, uh, Minnesota. Um, the only thing that might keep Rick Rude from going in the Hall of Fame is uh, the controversy that surrounded him uh, during his death, you know, when they found all the cocaine in his system. and He died pretty young, you know, in his 40s and stuff, but if you're going to say Hall of Fame, then you have to talk uh, about uh, accomplishments, right? That's how you get in the Hall of Fame is through your accomplishments. And Ric Flair had, or Ric Flair, he's on the mind because I did my Starcade video earlier. But yeah, Rick Rude had a, a a list of accomplishments. I mean, being the international world champion, being an AWA world champion, being a WWF uh, intercontinental champion. It would just make sense with um, the WrestleMania being up in Minnesota you know, not too far from Robbinsdale, where Rick Rude lived, uh, it would make sense to put Rude in the Hall of Fame. You know, and they put Mr. Perfect in the Hall of Fame, you know, from uh, Minnesota, you know, back in 2006, Chicago, which wasn't too far, or did Perfect get in in 2007 in Detroit? It was either six or seven that Perfect got in. But yeah, it, it just, it's time. It's time. This guy's a Hall of Famer. You know, and no one can dispute that. Rick, Rick Rude, is a Hall of Famer. He had a great career. He was a great wrestler. He was a great heel. Uh, he was a champion. You know, he, he wrestled in Memphis. I mean, Root wrestled all over. He definitely had a Hall of Fame career. So, what better opportunity than in Minnesota, Root's hometown, to put him in the Hall of Fame? It's like, what are they waiting for? There's not going to be that much controversy. He's been gone a long time. He died in 99. Um, there's not that much controversy behind putting Rick Root in. He deserves it. He's deserved it for a long time. You know, he was a just a crumb bomb another wrestler. He was great. He's a legend. Everybody loves Rick Rude. I don't know any wrestling fans that didn't think he was awesome. So, you guys leave your comments below and let me know if Mania 33 in Minnesota is the right time to put Ravishing Rick Rude in. Come on, that's for you, buddy. Peace out.